Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is the 21st, yes, 21st of March. Today would have been an opening day for all the lakes around my local area to open up and give us the benefit of, you know, renting John boats. But since we have this COVID-19 virus going on, of course, the lakes are closed. Um, everything's been postponed to further notice. Um, but yeah, still getting on the water, still fishing, guys. In my opinion, it's probably one of the safest places to be uh, out fishing, maybe by yourself or with people that you are normally always with. Small groups, uh, like they say, you know, all over the social, you know, social media, but you know, news and networks and so forth. Um, Got to do something to entertain yourself, but you know, try to stay away from big, big crowds and and stores and things of that nature, but. Guys, we're we're uh, in pre-spawn or catching some fish or actually locked on beds and stuff right now. So today we got overcast conditions, high 65. We're going to have some rain. It's actually starting to rain a little bit now. But we're going to head to one of these honey holes and see what we can't catch, guys. See if we can't get on a few fish. Got some rods uh, paired up with me. Quite a few of them for bank fishing but either way guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode stay tuned stay locked in and let's go get them all right guys we made it out here this is placed quite a few oh, shrimp quite a few times but the first time out here fishing in a uh, in the spring we're always fishing in the winter time to kind of push myself to to, you know, catch fish during the winter time. But, uh, we're gonna start out with the, I'm gonna start out small. I'm gonna fish this net rig. You know why? Actually, I do know why. You know why I still call it net rig fish, and this is my new setup. Seven foot medium light with a Shimano Sedona. Little net rig there. 30 pound braid to uh, eight pound leader. Let's see how soft this brown is. Soft enough. I'm not gonna fish this net rig too long. So I am gonna give it a go. I might throw it out a little bit deeper. Jerk bait.
Yeah. It's a little male. Texas rig, uh, Carl. That vector hook. I think that might have been a bit fish. Got mud on my shoe. Yo, they tearing this crawl up, man. Oh my God. They eating top water over here. They eating top water over here. Yeah, bringing this brush, uh, this uh, pit boss across the pads. They missing it, but they get coming for it. There we go. I was swimming it. I was swimming it, he smashed it. I didn't think they would eat top water this early.
Yeah, it wrapped me up. Oh my God. Again, again. Might have to put on a swim jig. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna put a swim jig on. Consecutive hits on this on that Berkeley pit boss peg, so I was swimming. Well, I was swimming in like a top water, so what kind of subsurface? They're definitely on the move aggressively. We're gonna put on this Berks big swim jig now. Yes, sir. On that swim jig. Oh, that's a big girl right there. Ooh, wee. Goodness. Swim jig, guys. It was calling me right now. Reset. Zeros. Six forty five. Good fish. That's a giant. That's a giant right there. Just let it go. Got it. Swim to you guys. You guys are 
enjoyed uh, today's episode. Um, it was a struggle from the beginning trying to figure out what the bass were doing because we're kind of in that pre-spawn, the spawn mode, and certain locations are around here in North Carolina heat up fast and some heat up a little bit slower just depending on the, you know, the water clarity and the sun direction and so forth and so on. But, guys, I figured out a little bit of a pattern close to the end of the upload um, in the video, and that was a swim jig, guys. Well, I was swimming a Berkeley Habit Pit Boss peg with a 5 16 ounce Wu Tungsten no chip uh, bullet weight. I had a double peg because I was originally kind of just pitching into these lily pads, hoping to see if I could pick off one of these bats and maybe spawn them. So, on one of my retrieves, I noticed twice that I got hit top water. So, mm. excuse me. So, ended up putting on a Burks Bay swim jig, caught that giant six pounder, guys, and um, that was that. It, it, was, it was a pretty decent day. Turned out to be a, a great day catching a giant, a uh, big spawning female. So, guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, hit that bell for any future videos I will be uploading. It's been a grind lately. It's been slow for me fishing lately. You know, we have the the COVID-19 thing going on. I hope everybody's being safe and, and everybody's just is well and healthy. I know it's a struggle for a lot of people that may not have jobs and stuff right now, but keep faith in God and just and pray and hope that everybody gets well and just stay strong. So as always, guys, I will catch you on the next episode. Peace.